Yo, yo, what is up, everyone? It's finally time. Final Bowser. Time to finish this Paper Mario Level 0 run. Watt is the partner of choice because she pierces defense. For your reference, Bowser now has 99 HP, a whopping 8 attack with a 10 damage fire breath, and 2 defense. Also, he can hit both Mario and his partner with a beam that does 6 damage to Mario and 3 damage to his partner, a lightning attack that does 10 damage, and he can heal 3 times for 30 HP each. Truly, this is Bowser's final form, worthy of a final boss. And the battle begins. As mentioned in my Bowser battle, the strategy here is very similar, but much more defensive. I'll get into that in a little bit. For the first mini phase, the strategy is to pile on as much damage as possible because the damage Bowser takes persists through the cutscene and I heal completely going into the real battle. So two Star Storms and Watt attacks for a combined 20 damage. And now, the real battle begins. As I'm sure you've noticed, I basically just used Star Storm in the previous Bowser battle. This time, I have to be extra conservative because I only have 8 life shrooms. I have 2 repel gels, one to get me through the first turn because Bowser starts in a star powered form, and then again to build up star power when I'm low on life shrooms. The general strategy was to get Bowser to burn his heals as quickly as possible, then go full defensive and preserve Mario as much as possible while continuously attacking with what? attacking with Mario only when I was at a good HP value, which was usually 8, 9, or 10. How was this possible? Well, if I'm at full HP and I successfully guard Bowser's Claw or Pound attacks, I'm left with 3 HP. If I use Refresh, I can then survive another Claw or Pound if, if successfully guarded. As I'm sure you've already realized, good guarding was crucial to this run. I lost a few life shrooms way too early because I missed a guard. Another thing to note is that if I'm at full HP and Bowser decides to use Fire Breath or his Lightning Attack and I successfully guard, there's no reason to use Refresh because I'd be left at 6 HP. Basically every attack except his Star Ring Attack kills Mario at that point. And because I mentioned his Star Ring Attack, generally I just tried to guard with Watt so I didn't lose 3 turns worth of damage. Also, if you miss the guard for Bowser's Pound Attack, you lose an option, whether it be Item, Jump, or Hammer. And of course, I lost Hammer. Because of this, I used Star Storm as a replacement attack, which is what I had intended it to be for. See, Bowser has a semi-cycle going. Every 3-5 to five turns, Bowser will use the Star Rod to power himself up. This free turn usually always resulted in me being able to have Refresh on deck at all times, even though I floated around 0-1 to one units of Star Power the rest of the fight after using Star Storm to attack. <clears throat> Near the end, I utilize this cycle knowledge. I won't spoil how because the ending is pretty awesome. And because there's so much going on in the battle, I'm not going to be commentating every turn. So enjoy the rest of the fight. Also just a quick FYI, but to keep the suspense up, I'm not putting up the HP of Bowser this time.
And with this, Final Bowser has been defeated. This was by far the hardest boss of the entire run, and I'm really happy with coming up with this strategy all on my own. It was inspired by my Danger Mario run of this game, so be sure to check that out when you have the chance. Also, I have one last surprise, so like the video, subscribe, and follow me on social media to know when that releases. Why don't you rewatch this run while you wait? All links are in the, de the description below. Later!